June heat is on the way. This was such a gift, June 9th. That was last Friday when we had that nice rain in the morning. It was 81 for a high. That's a gift because this is how June normally looks. Now, keep in mind the typical high is 90 degrees. That was the high yesterday and today, but we're expecting slightly above numbers than that in the week ahead. In fact, the first week, your heat, your cooling bill might reflect this. The average high from June 1st through today, 87.9 at DFW Airport, and this is what the week is ahead. So the AC units are going to be on for most of the day. In fact, maybe even through the night because the overnight lows are going to be down into the mid 70s. The feel like temperature, by the way, in the afternoon is going to peak somewhere around 96 tomorrow, 98 on Tuesday, and probably 100 degrees both days, Wednesday and Thursday. Because not only is it going to be hot in the low 90s, it's going to be humid. The dew points are going to get down or get up, I should say, into the low 70s. Satellite radar view. This is close as the rain got today, coming out of the Gulf Coast. It got almost into Anderson County. We'll kind of pull out a little bit. You can see there was much more rain right around the coastal region. I point this out because these sea breeze storms during the afternoon, early evening hours, they. They're actually part of our forecast, at least not in the Metroplex, but our southeast counties, Corsicana down to Palestine. We've got a 10 to 20 percent chance of rain or thunderstorms by the late day, early evening, both tomorrow and, and on Tuesday as well. But rain chances do pick up a little bit as we close the work week. There's going to be a frontal boundary that's going to come down and then just kind of stall out. And it's going to help bring the dry line a little bit closer to us. And we'll have that northwest flow aloft. We were talking about this last week. Thunderstorms that develop up in Oklahoma, Panhandle, and Texas along this dry line or this front might make their run on that northwest flow towards us. So we'll keep an eye on that. We're talking about Friday and Saturday, a little bit better chance of that happening. And it could be in odd hours, like in the overnight hours or in the morning, we see that rain or thunderstorms from that weather setup. But the seven day forecast is really what you'll notice is that you're just going to have to seek shade often, drink plenty of water, and make sure the pets are inside during the afternoon hours. We've got warm conditions. And in fact, by the time we get to the weekend, that 97 that you see is the hottest temperature we've seen so far this year.